Today, Jeff and I are trying NBA players' cheat meals, starting with LeBron James. Woo! Jeff, oh LeBron my James goodness. cheat meal, a 16 topping pizza. Wow. I don't even know what all the toppings are. Dude, this looks kind of nasty, this I'm smells, not gonna lie. Smells, smells amazing. It is amazing. Surprisingly, for some reason, this works. I feel like when you look at it, you're like, I don't even know what I'm eating. But yeah. This is actually an amazing cheat meal. So you're telling me LeBron has never had a pepperoni pizza? Like, just a no, simple pepperoni? LeBron has never had a pepperoni pizza. They asked him what his cheat meal was. He said 16 topping pizza. But on the tier list, Jeff, where are you putting it? I'm going to have to start this off with a B. A solid B. I think it's good, but not my go-to. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like for a cheat meal, mm -hmm. throw in a cookie or two. Exactly. Like one tiny thing is not a cheat meal. I'm going I'm to give it a C, bro. A C. A little harsh on LeBron, he's my man, but yeah. You could have done way, like LeBron, you, you could have done a little cheated. bit better. <laughs> you could have cheated way more. And speaking of cookies, who do you think this is? Dude, for some reason, I'm not even joking, I think Kawhi Leonard. I don't know why, it's just, he's a funny guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Kawhi is a funny guy. Okay. It's Giannis. Ya that's a, an absurd amount of Oreos. Bro, there is a video of Giannis circulating around filling jars with Oreos. I knew he liked chicken nuggets because after he got oh, the, the dub, 50 piece, 50 piece, piece but I didn't know about Oreos. So you, you break up your Oreos. I do. Does that make me weird? Mm, yeah, that's what a lot of people do. You milk an Oreo kind of guy? Giannis needs to fill this with milk and ice cream and yes. blend it up. Yes, yes. milkshake. Oh my, oh my goodness. God. Dude, Oreo milkshakes are elite. I hope somebody's cheat meal has an Oreo McFlurry. Facts, bro. I'm gonna take a couple Oreos for later. If Smart. I have to try any D tier meals, I'll wash it down. What, what tier are you giving this one, James? You give Oreos a B. I'm agreeing with James, a B tier. I feel like when you put 16 toppings on a pizza, you're trying to be healthy. Giannis yeah. is trying to cheat. Yeah. I like that. Jeff, the next cheat meal is from my favorite player. What is that? <laughs> four Shirley Temples. Who drinks four Shirley Temples? Bro, four jugs of Shirley Temples. <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, oh my God! God. Whoa! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. Yeah, this is good. I love Shirley Temples. Amazing. You don't, you don't know who this is? I, I think I do. I think, is this Kawhi? Bro, this man thinks Kawhi Leonard is a dirty <laughs> cheater, bro. This is Joel Embiid. Ah, uh, I do, I do remember somebody saying that. So I have a question, Jeff, because apparently he used to do this every day. Is yeah. this either technically not a cheat meal or is Joel Embiid like an all-time cheater? I think he's an all-time <laughs> cheater, 100%. All cheater. How do you even end up having this habit of drinking four, four Shirley Temples? Four, this much Shirley Dude, Temples. that's insane. I know he's a big guy, but damn, that's a lot. You know, I, Shirley Temple is my favorite soda low-key. I'm gonna give this a B tier. You're disrespecting <laughs> LeBron. Like, no, they're not even trying at this point. <laughs> LeBron has 16 ingredients and he's getting beat out by a Shirley Temple B tier. But I agree, a B tier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that, was, that was an earthquake. That is seven cheeseburgers. Oh, and a fries. <laughs> Are you really human if you don't eat a fry before you eat anything else? Seven burgers and fries. So apparently Enos Cancer, he tweeted a video of him eating seven burgers and fries and then missed the next game because he was sick. Who eats seven burgers and only one fry? You think you get like <laughs> yeah. at least two. The burger to fry ratio is off. insane. Yeah. Like, All right, I want one cheeseburger for every fry I get. This is the best burger too. Adding right. that, the fact that it's in and out Cheers. That's the most burgers you've ever eaten in one sitting. Cause I feel like- Probably like three or four. That's a good amount. <laughs> yeah. That's a good I amount. I love burgers. All right, bro. So obviously me and you love the burger. We love the fries, but would you eat the overall meal of seven of them? No, never. Yeah. This is really good. It's just like at seven, is this normal for envy boys? Cause they're a lot bigger than us. They're double our size. No, they're only like what? Well, they're like what? A foot taller than you? How much do they weigh? Like 250. Okay, they're not that much bigger then. And so normally for us, how, how many burgers for do you eat? Mere mortals, we can only eat two cheese. Burgers. Where are you cheering that, James? I love the burger and fries. That's a W cheat meal, but seven burgers? I'm gonna throw this in the D tier. You'd rather eat a jar of Oreos <laughs> than seven hamburgers, and you're not gonna feel sick from a jar of Oreos? I'm putting this at a B tier still, because I can't go A if it was like two or three burgers, A tier. If it makes a seven, I'd pull it down to B tier, but you give me a... <laughs> I'm giving it a D tier. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm not vibing it. Yeah, all right. Get it away. Yes, more burgers! Let's go. I'm Let's, actually excited. This is a good amount of food. Some animal style fries. Yeah. You know the vibes. Oh, there's more. What we got some Taco heck? Bell. Ta we got more Taco Bell. Oh my God, is that Chalupa? What is, all right, that's a Chalupa. What is this? Where we is got more Taco Bell. Who is this person? <laughs> oh my, oh, French fries. 
A and a blast. blast. Okay, I think that's it. I hope that's it. All right, Jeff, this is a ton of food. This is more than a cheat meal. This is an entire cheat day, Insane. but I think this is everything. Okay, we have sauce. Where did that sauce come from? I don't know, but like I thought this was like a, you know, before the sauce, an appropriate amount of food. After the sauce. OD. OD. Yeah, too much. OD. All right, where do you want to start? We both have a case of Yeah, we'll start with a case of you. So, Jeff, who do you think this is? Dude, this is giving me the rock vibes. I'm going to have to keep on guessing Kawhi Leonard because one of these times I'm going to be right. Is this Kawhi Leonard? This is Jeremy Lin's full cheat day. Jeremy, how could you? I thought Jeremy was a really healthy guy. But when he decides to cheat, this is how Jeremy Lin gets his meals. Let me see. Shannon, I need two quesadillas, a jalupa, two burgers, animal style fries, McDonald's fries, and a six piece. The Baja Blast. And take your barbecue sauce. Jeff, he sounds nothing like that. <laughs> And two, what in the world do you think Jeremy Lin has a friend named Shannon? No, Jeremy Lin has an assistant named Shannon. Oh, sh assistant named yeah. Shannon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn, friend. you just assume he makes his friends do it? Well, I'm assuming that his assistants are his friends. True. He's a nice so guy. So now I'm saying, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. You're saying your assistants are not your friends? You caught me in a Wembley. Ah, uh, I got you in a Wembley. <laughs> the quesadilla was pretty good. You're not a big fan of Taco Bell. I know that. I'm not the biggest Taco Bell guy. I'm really not a McDonald's guy, but we have a six piece nugget with the sauce. Yeah, barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, McFlurry. Wait, there's more? I feel like Jeremy's burgers are looking different. Oh, they're doubles. He's definitely eating this at home and taking a nap right after it. He's definitely not eating this out. Okay, let me break this down. He's saying that McDonald's has great nuggets and fries, but not worthy enough for a burger. So he's driving in and out. So he's, he's, he's smart, right? All right, I feel like it's more like Taco Bell breakfast, McDonald's lunch, in and out dinner. Oh, he's not eating this in one meal? No, this is a cheat day. That like most NBA players, they have a cheat meal. Jeremy Lin goes, bro, if I'm gonna cheat, I'm, I'm gonna literally call Copy the answer guide from the teacher's test. The whole and day. And I'm gonna change my grade on her Excel sheet. Mm. Like that, it's that level of cheer. Wow. Cheers. Chalupa cheer. The chalupa is a nice touch with the quesadillas. Mm -hmm. Good combo. Mm -hmm. All right, you going in and out. You getting regular fries or uh, animal style fries? All right, here's my gripe with Jeremy Lin, bro. Not, it, not the fries, Jeremy Lin. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing with In-N-Out, y'all. They make soggy fries, but if you go there, you can ask for the fries to be light well or well done, mm -hmm. and they actually become like S-tier fries. Yes. You do that. And the animal style is too wet if you don't do that. Yes. You definitely need to get well done. Mm -hmm. At least uh, light well. Yeah. Jeff yeah. knows. Yes. Because Jeff is an elite eater. Where are you reading Jeremy Lin's cheat day? All right. It was kind of all over the place, which I do, I personally do like. There was not one item that I was like, okay, that's kind of nasty. I'm going to give my first A-tier judgment. That's my highest so far. What about you, James? You know, I respect that Jeremy Lin, when he cheats, he goes all out. I feel like he kind of doubled up on burger places. I know he didn't get a burger. Yeah. Maybe he should have done like a Sarku or something like that. And just throw some variety in. But I'd rather have a jar of Oreos or all You gotta this. think about that, bro. Like, I know you're like tearing like low, but then you gotta think like, I'm saying I'd rather have this all right, than this. I'm giving it an A tier. Okay, yes, we, yes. Put, we finally agree. That was a huge meal. Yes. Time for something new. Oh. Popcorn. You want me to guess? Yeah, who do you think this is? I'm guessing Damian Lillard because he has stomach issues. Like, you know, like mm -hmm. Gmail, like. Bro, very close guess to this play style. Steph Curry. I know Steph Curry tries the popcorn at every stadium he goes to. <laughs> he actually put out a list where he ranked the 30 teams. No popcorn. way. He did. Let's see if we can guess who has the best popcorn based from Steph Curry. Oh. I'm do gonna you guess know? somewhere random. Oklahoma City. I'm gonna guess a big market team on a newer stadium. I'm gonna guess the Warriors. All right, Jeff, his top three, the Miami Heat, the Portland Trailblazers, the Dallas Mavericks. <gasps> Dude, it's because Mark Cuban invested in that popcorn company on Shark Tank. What's a, wow, you got information that I don't know. I feel like I just solved a conspiracy theory, but I didn't. What are you rating this cheat meal? Oh, this is a D. Yeah. <laughs> this is a D cheat meal, yeah. bro. I feel like you can eat this every day and still be healthy. It's not yeah. even a cheat meal. I'm also going to give this one a D. But we can't stop eating it. We can't stop eating it, but that doesn't mean it's not a good cheat. Maybe, maybe we're being, maybe we're being unfair to Steph. Mm -hmm. The thing about popcorn is it's healthy and good in okay quantities. Just when you eat too much, but you're prone to eating too much. Mm. C tier. I'm still staying at D tier for this one, but, uh, I do enjoy popcorn. What is this? This is Luka Doncic. He said his cheat meal is Snickers ice cream, and he's known to drink beer yeah. after the games and before the games, apparently. Luka. Like, nah, bro, this is why Luka shows up at shape. Yeah, bro. After a game, too? Every game? No, I don't know about every game. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if that's good recovery, but... This is delicious. This is one of those things where you say this is borderline illegal. You guys don't know, there's a little bit of caramel, there's vanilla ice cream and a chocolate cover top. You, there's nuts in here too, did you get nuts? Mm -hmm. By itself, maybe A, S tier. Now James finished it, and that's how, you, that's how you know it's good. I would finish it, but I might die. I don't know how Luca does it. Cheers. 
Ah, that's refreshing. A questionable cheat meal for an NBA player. I don't know if this goes together. I don't know if he's having these at the same time or this is just multiple different. Or right. maybe Luca doesn't have cheat meals, he just has meals. If you never eat healthy, Oh, you're saying he always cheat meals. Mm -hmm. Like this is his normal diet. Luca is a master class in cheating. How much better could his career be if he just stopped <laughs> with the, stop the ice cream? <laughs> yeah, and the beer. All right, that was good. I appreciated Luca's Wait, what, what tier are you doing this one? Dude, low key, I'm giving Luca an S tier. I'm gonna have to give that A tier because I don't know about the mixture by itself. S tier. So A tier for me. Pizza. Now you're talking to me. What Waffle the? with peanut butter. Cookies. You know who this is. It's a weird combo, but it looks delicious. Yeah, I'm a little shook. And somebody that would shock me that I feel like would get something like this. Paul George. DeAndre Jordan. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm not going to lie. This pizza looks kind of disgusting. It does. This looks like a giant Lunchable. And I like Lunchables, but I don't want a 30-inch Lunchable. So DeAndre Jordan is a vegan, so this is gluten-free vegan pizza. As a vegan myself. Myself. I know these are disgusting. Okay, let's try this pizza. No, 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 not this pizza. All right. This looks good. This looks delicious. Oh, oh soggy. soggy waffle. Oh, that's a lot of peanut butter. That's a lot of waffle. That's a lot of peanut butter. What the hell? What the heck? This has to be a self made thing. Yeah, yeah this has to be a him thing. Yeah. But it's good. Mm -hmm. I guess it's healthier than syrup. All right, like, I don't really have anything else to say about it. Though. I'm moving on. Bro, I love cookies. I'm low key a sucker for cookies. What do you give it this meal? Considering this specific meal and his options, I'm gonna give this my first C tier. I like the potential it can become. It was like a good pizza. This was really good. Yeah, I feel you? like if you like threw on some whipped cream and some yeah. chocolate syrup, yeah. and maybe, I don't know, some ice cream or milk to go Exactly. Cookies, yeah. Almond milk, that'd be fire. Yes. I'm gonna give it a C as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy is an ice cold killer. Ice trader gang? No. Jason Tatum. Oh. He just, his cheat meal is ice cream sandwiches. These are classic. Classic. So good. I'm breaking this because I saw James do it. I've never broken ice cream sandwich, but. Are you exposing my weirdness? Uh, it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Not weird. I love these, bro. Oh my God. I feel like I could build an igloo with these. Let me see it. <laughs> You said it. You built a room. That looks good. Nice. In my house, y'all. Wow. What are you rating that, James? Bro, a straight up ice cream sandwiches? I'm gonna give that a B. I'm also putting this in the Oreo tier list. I'm also giving this one an A. KFC. Ooh, that thing is hot. All right, we got Kevin Durant. He's got the fried chicken meal from KFC. Ooh, okay. Question, leg, wing, thigh, or drum? I like the drumsticks. Okay. I haven't had KFC in a while, bro, but mm. KFC, I don't know. I feel like KFC fell off. I also feel like this is a meal you could eat every day. Yeah, I feel like low key, yeah. If you're Kevin Durant, I feel like you could get like a nicer fried chicken than this. Mm-hmm, mac and cheese. No. Me and you were talking about it's KFC versus whatever. I feel like for KD, he must have loved KFC growing up. So his cheat meal is like a nostalgia meal. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. So I'm giving this a B tier. Wow. That's pretty good. I actually don't mind KFC. I do like Popeyes just a little bit better. Yeah, I like Popeyes better too. I agree with you. B tier. Yeah, B tier. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. Let's go. Ooh. Krispy Kreme. So this is Shaquille O'Neal. This big thing is actually the Krispy Kreme minis. I've never had a Krispy Kreme mini, have you? I have not. I don't believe what? these are the minis. No, these are the regular donuts. Dude, personally, hot take, bro. I don't think Krispy Kreme's that good. So you think a regular Straight donut up. shop is better? Yeah, mom and pop donut shops are under Clay's donut. I'm surprised. Does Shaquille O'Neal own a Krispy Kreme? I he feel own. like he must. Yeah, because he only eats his own, like, like thing. Food, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna give Krispy Kreme? I'm not a big Krispy Kreme guy. I just feel like your mom and pop donut shop has it on lock. Nothing's bad. I think it's a B tier. I'm gonna give it a C tier. C tier? Okay, I think that's fair. Alright, Jeff, we have your favorite player of all time. Over right. Kobe's cheat meal is Rice Krispies. Rice Krispie cereal, yes. Not even Rice Krispie treats? Bro, I mean, if there's anyone who probably is just like, why would I take a cheat meal? It'd, it'd be Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. Right, right, right. No milk? Okay, I feel like he must have it with milk. Mmm. Is this coated with extra sugar? I don't these remember. Are, these must be sweetened. There is a lot of sugar on these things. I actually, I respect this, especially with milk. I bet this tastes delicious. I'm gonna give this an A tier. I agree. I'm giving that a shocking factor. Oh. So this one doesn't really look like a cheat meal to me. This is basically a breakfast. Yes, this is Trey Young. His cheat meal is waffles, bacon, and eggs. Trey Young is a pretty fit guy. But I feel like this isn't a cheat. This is a meal. But this is a good amount. Like, do you, you see this block of eggs? Well, I'm gonna have some bacon because I feel like this is the cheap part of the meal. Crunchy bacon, good. You can't go wrong with bacon though. Bacon's delicious, eggs are good. All right, we got waffle. Yeah. This is probably the cheat part. Maybe he probably does get bacon and eggs a lot, but he probably doesn't get the waffle. Yeah. But honestly, as a cheat meal, you're gonna hate me. Oh, give it I think this is a D tier cheat meal. D tier. You're not even cheating. Because you're saying it's a regular meal. It yeah, this be, is okay. a regular meal. I understand that. But as a regular meal, do you love this? 
Yeah. Like this is like a, this will be an A tier as a regular meal. It's or a would good you, regular meal. But wouldn't be A tier. It's like a B tier regular meal. I'm gonna give it a D. Okay, I'm gonna give this a C tier. I think it's pretty solid, but I do agree. It's just it's, not cheap. It's not, not much of a cheap meal. Are you ready for the next meal? Yes. Hey, what was that voice? I know I did a voice too, but what was I your was voice? joining your voice clan. Right, my bad. Yeah. I didn't mean to kick you out of the voice club. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to have the same voice. Oh, McDonald's. Whose meal is this, James? This is Danny Green. I feel like everyone's gotten this at least. Mm -hmm. You want the shake? Cause I tried the McFlurry. This is why I saved the Oreos. Oh, oh genius. That's how ice cream is meant to be eating. How's that? It's good? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this burger for science sake. It's a little bit cooled down now. Uh, 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 uh. It's not bad, it's just really hot. I'm gonna give this a C tier. I'm gonna give this also a C tier. It wasn't amazing. I feel like when I'm cheating, I want more sweets yes. and savories. Yes. Yeah, cause I feel like you can fit this into a non-cheat. This, this is not even that many calories, I feel like. You know, this so is basic. Like, yeah, basic. Jeff, what was your favorite cheat meal today? I don't think you gave anything in S tier. Yeah, my highest was the A tier. I'm gonna go with uh, Jeremy Lin's cheat meal. That was my favorite. I'm gonna go with Luca, that Snickers ice cream. He put me onto something, and I okay. also happen to like beer too, so. Yeah, I yeah, Lucas yeah. was just, I don't know, I just, it spoke to me on an emotional, spiritual If you're level. an NBA player, you'd have Luca's meal. Yeah, and okay. I have Luca's game too. If you guys enjoyed this video, Jeff and I did a video where we went to all NBA player owned restaurants and there were some fire places you wouldn't expect. So guys, check out that video. I'll see you there.